Hey everybody! I wanted to come on here. I've been wanting to make this video for a little while. Um, of my fur skin collection, you guys. I've had them all just waiting here in my living room in this giant box. And as they've come in, I've just put them in the box and saved them so that I can make this video. Um, but I really need the box. <laughs> So it's time. They're all here. Um, I do plan on getting more, but this is everybody for right now. Um, so yeah, let's meet my Furskins collection. If you didn't know, the Furskins is a line of bears created by Xavier Roberts, the man who is credited with the creation of the Cabbage Patch. Um, and honestly, I like these better than the Cabbage Patch kids. Shocker. Um, they're just so cute. You're gonna see. Okay, let's start out um, with the first one I ever got. This little guy. Um, I got this from Thrift Store Gems on Instagram. This is one of the ones that were released for Wendy's. Um, and you could, you know how like McDonald's or Burger King did cups or like, I remember the Hercules plates, stuff like that. Um, they had the Muppets plush at McDonald's back in the 80s like around when I was born um, but yeah Wendy's did a line of the fur skin bears and you could buy these little guys at Wendy's and uh, they had a few different ones but this is the only one I have right now so that was my very first one technically okay and then um, I got one the second one I got was this guy Dudley I got him from treasure me toys on Instagram as part of her like moving sale I'm so glad she was able to find a place um, it, it looks kind of scary there for a minute but I'm so I'm so happy for you um, and I'm so glad that you sold this guy to me he was my first regular size one um, and he's got his little bandana and look you guys the bandana even has a bear in the paisley like these things are so detailed they have so much detail. Let me show you. He has a button that says, I pause for fur skins. And look, even on his overalls, there's a label for fur skins. And on the buttons, I mean, just the level of detail. Now these are soft, they got soft faces. Um, and the eyes look painted. They're, it's like a button piece, but they look hand painted, like the soft sculpture cabbage patch. Um, but these were mass produced. That's the crazy thing. Like you could buy these in the store in a box and I believe they rolled out in 84 or 83. 83 is the year where people were fighting each other for Cabbage Patch at Christmas time. Um, and they were having to do like raffles for Cabbage Patch. You know, it was that was the year. But um, I believe these guys came out 83 or 84 because they were made by Coleco, which was the original manufacturer of the mass market Cabbage Patch kids. So this is Dudley. He's the general store owner. And I wanted to show him first because he is the first one I got of the big size. And I mean, these things are big. They're 22 inches. He's a big boy. But, um, and uh, she told me that his shoes had come apart. It just needs a little glue. Not a big problem. Oh, and they even say fur skins on the bottom of their shoes, guys. Like. The detail, it's just, it's mind blowing. You don't get like that now. Imagine what something with this kind of detail would cost nowadays. The insanity. They're so cute, I love them. I really want them all. And I don't feel that way about any Cabbage Patch. So they're not even the Hasbros. I don't want all of them. It's crazy. Okay. I wanted to show Boone second. Let's get his hat on. Boone has his hat. Look. <laughs> Boone is the beekeeper. Um, but I wanted to show him second because he actually has his literature here. Um, and it's got the story of the first skin bears. And I've been excited to make this video because we all know I'm from Mississippi. I talk like a hick. And uh, I just thought this would be the perfect <laughs> the perfect video to make since I talk like this. Okay. Oh, this is copyrighted 1985. So they may have come out in 85. I could be wrong. All right. 
the story of the Furskins. The densely wooded area in North Georgia called Moody Hollow had about everything you could think of. There were hills, blue lakes, and rambling rivers. There were sights for seeing and waterfalls for skinny dipping. That beautiful area had everything you could imagine, except in a general store. That's why the Furskins thought it'd be such a good idea to open one. Now, the Furskins weren't what you'd call your typical shopkeepers. Matter of fact, they were bears. But unlike most bears, the Furskins didn't sleep all winter and lounge around all summer. No, the Furskins had plenty of ambition and freckles. So on one particularly beautiful spring day, the Furskins took their ambition, the freckles came along too, and opened up the things you need for every day and some stuff just for fun store. The shelves were jam-packed with dry goods, wet goods, goods for eating, and goods for wearing. There weren't even some goods that weren't good for anything. Oh, there were even, sorry. Sipped in a good laugh now and then. About the only thing missing from the store was customers. The Furskins hadn't seen one in more than 15 years. Of course, there was a good reason. Up there, aside Mount Yana, was a no-man's land of sorts. The trees were thick, the kudzu and thorn vines wrapped the area like a blanket. About the only way you could get there was by old nasty tear britches trail, and no one was about to attempt that. So of course there were no people up that way. For all the Furskins knew, there was just them. But this didn't stop the four bears, not for a minute. Dudley Furskin, the jolly and official store manager, opened up the doors every morning at nine sharp. Each and every day, Hattie, the flirtatious pie maker, was ready and waiting with a fresh batch of sweet smelling pies. And of course, for every new pie she conjured up, she adorned a brand new hat. Despite a lack of customers, Boone Furskin kept the shelf on aisle 12 stacked up with his homegrown honey. Of course, honey loving Boone Boone'd empty the shelf quick as he could stack it, but no one seemed to mind. Well, busy or not, every general store needs the likes of a post office, and hidden away in the back of the store, Farrell Furskin sat day after day as official postmaster of the Moody Hollow Post Office, zip code 30528 and a half. But letters to Moody Hollow were about as sparse as the population, except in the Furskin's own Christmas cards and an occasional valentine exchange between the four bears, zip code 30528 and a half, never saw a single piece of mail. Customers or no customers, life goes on at the one and only things you need for every day and some stuff just for fun store. Boone and Hattie and Farrell and Dudley Furskin stay busy most days, doing what amazes even them. If you ever get up that way, past the trees and the thorn vines, after you see the sights, hike the hills, and do a little skinny dipping, you really should stop by. The Furskins are ambitious, but they do get a mite lonesome, because after all, they're no ordinary bears. Not nearly. The end. And that's the story of the Furskins. Also, got a little certificate of authenticity. Oath of Furskin Friendship. And a picture of the Moody Hollow General Store. Okay, and then there's a little bio about Boone on the back. Boone is a beekeeper by trade and honey lover by heart. Every day, Boone coaxes a sweet batch of honey out of his bees. He jars it and sticks it on the shelf on aisle 12. After his chores are tended to, Boone often dips his paw into that fresh honey. By day's end, the shelf is empty and Boone is full. Boone restacks the shelf each day, often boasting how he can hardly keep up with the demand. So that's Boone the beekeeper and Dudley the shopkeeper. I'm gonna have to do a little work, a little zhuzhing to get his hat back, but I'm glad he has it. Um, I've seen several of them that don't have any clothes, so I was glad to find these. Okay, and then next up, I've got Fanny Faye. 
Fanny Faye is the school teacher. Look, she's got little stockings and her boots tie with ribbon. And she's even got like little bloomers. Her dress is trimmed in like a crochet lace. And she even has a cameo of herself. It says Fanny Faye. <laughs> you guys, the expressions on these, look at that. They're a little bit derpy, but I love them. They're just like silly bears. Look at her little bear tail poking out of her pants. <laughs> okay. Um, and I don't know who this one is. Like, I thought it might be Hattie. Um, the thing is, they had fashion packs for the bears. So their clothes got changed and stuff too. And I've only found one resource that mentions these and kind of gives a little information about them. And that's Ghost of the Doll which is um, a UK-based website, which is a great resource for identifying all kinds of vintage toys. They were the only one that I could find anything out about the fur skins, but I believe that this is Hattie. I'm not 100%. She has the little bloomers as well, um, and uh, her little apron. So that's why I think it might be Hattie, because of the apron, but there's really no way of knowing. And her boots are um, like the boy boots. So maybe I'll put these on Dudley and she can just be barefoot because, um, let me show you her little paw. See, their little paws are signed. Just like the Cabbage Patch were autographed by Xavier Roberts, these are as well. So, okay. And now my very favorite ones, the kids. The kids are, are the cutest. Okay, the girls are my favorite, but I got one little boy. <laughs> He's the little baseball player, and his name is Spitball. Um, I think his name is Hank or Henry, but he goes by Spitball. Or maybe it's Scout that goes by. Yeah, it's Scout, I think, that goes by um, his nickname, not his real name. But yeah, he even had his little hat and his jacket. But sometimes I see him in just this. So I was excited that he had all of his pieces. But yeah. That's Spitball. And he's the, um, I got some of the girls here that are a little bit darker, but he's definitely the darkest color. So they did come in different colors. Most of them are like this oatmeal color, but his is a little bit darker. So that's Spitball. Okay, and then I also have, um, Persimmon. This is little Persimmon. She kind of looks like Hattie. She's got her little apron dress. She's got her little pink bloomers, little white boots. So we got persimmon. Um, a persimmon is a citrus that we have here in the south. I don't know if you guys have them in other places. But um, yeah, that's persimmon. Okay, and this one is Lila Claire. She has white boots also. There's a little fur skin logo. This little, um, I don't know, I can't tell if they're like a uh, gray or even, um, I'm going blank. What's that color? Periwinkle. <laughs> Laces. Um, anyway, the person that I got this from put her hat on her arms. The little strings. But it actually goes on her ears. But anyway, um, Lila Claire and she's got her hat. She even has a little bow in her hair. And her eyes are purple. Isn't she cute? Her little dress. Okay. And then the last one I have is Junie Mae. Junie Mae. She has such a cute dress with the plaid and the polka dots. She even has a little crinoline for her dress. Um, she's got the white boots also. She is the darker color. And see, they even did blushing, like on the paws and the cheeks. There's no freckles from the story. And um, she has a little hat as well. So yeah. They're all so precious. I just love them so much. Like, I've been so taken with this line. Like, I've sold other things from my collection to be able to get more of these. Um, if you are looking, I mean, you can get them for good prices. Some people have tried to sell these 
I've seen prices uh, $30 to $50 and up. I didn't pay anything close to that for any of these. Um, there are low prices out there. I think people just see that they're vintage. They're kind of um, kind of unique and then they want a lot of money. And that's just not something I'm willing to do. There are a couple, like I really want Selma Jean. Selma Jean is the uh, beauty pageant bear. She's the possum queen. And I just really want Selma Jean for my collection. But I haven't been able to find one at a good price. So I'm still looking for Selma Jean, the possum queen. Um, and then some of the boys like Orville, he's an aviator. And um, I can't remember the name of the police officer one. Those are going for a little bit more if they have their outfits complete, which is, you know, kind of understandable. Um, yeah. I don't know what it is about this line. I mean, the story of the Cabbage Patch Kids is cute, but this story, I don't know if it's because I'm Southern, like it particularly appeals to me. I just think it's so adorable. I love, you know, the Southern charm of these bears and the country kind of aspect of the line. I don't know, they just they just really appeal to me and they're big soft bears. <laughs> and their outfits are just darling. So I guess I've rambled enough. We're over the 15 minute mark now. But I mean <laughs> thank you so much for taking time out of your day to watch this. Let me know if you liked them, what you thought. If you collect fur skins or any other Xavier Roberts collections. And yeah, just uh, leave me a sweet little note down at the bottom. I really, really appreciate you taking the time to watch my videos. Um, my IGTV especially, I've been consistently getting around 100 views. And that just blows my mind that my video would be viewed 100 times. Like, it, it's so humbling. Um, I know I'm just a drop. <laughs> In, a, in an ocean of internet creators, but I just sincerely from the bottom of my heart appreciate everyone who takes the time out of their lives to sit down and watch my silly little videos about my collections. And I just love this community of collectors so much. I really treasure the friendships I've made here. And it's so nice being able to connect with other collectors, especially, you know, post lockdown or, you know, I'm not in a super rural area, but, you know, I am in a small town, and I don't know anyone in my personal life that collects these. I do have um, a couple of friends that collect dolls, but we don't get to see each other much, so it's just nice to be able to connect with people and to share the things that I'm passionate about with others who are interested, so thank you. Thank you very much for watching my videos, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye!